Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video I'm going to do a recap of my Dutch video and this is about what is going on in the skies. There's so much activity going on. I get messages from people that see a lot of things in the night sky. I've seen things. I do believe that I've seen uh, multiple occasions like UFOs, just a feeling that they were above me or somewhere in the sky. It's just the feeling that I got and uh, there's so much going on. So my first question actually was, is this more for the white hats uh, aliens or at least supporting us uh, off worlders, uh, the spiritual beings that are supporting us and helping us, or is this more dark energy? Just wanted to know that if they have still a lot of control. So this was my first card reading and the cards, the first card I got was the Empress. The central card was the uh, Chariot. The card in the past was the Nine of Swords. And underneath the central card, we have the High Priestess. So we have three major Arcana cards underneath each other. This is the influence on the central card. And this is the, the uh, other influence on the central card. So we have the Empress, we have the central card, the Chariot, and we have the High Priestess. So that is very interesting. And then in the uh, near future, the future, we have the Two of Pentacles. And these two cards came out together. So we have the Seven of Pentacles and the, the Queen of Swords. So to me, this feels like most of the activity are uh, benevolent off-worlders, spiritual beings, helping to restore the female balance, the sacred female principle. That's what the Empress is about. So this is about balancing, helping balance that. And especially with the High Priestess, this is about intuition, also the feminine spirituality. This is about connecting with spirituality. So this is helping humanity to connect with that side in us understanding that we are spiritual beings, we are part of this beautiful galactic federation, this, this multi-universe, and it's important that we gain control over our own destiny again as humanity. And that's what the chariot, chariot is about. So they're helping us regain control again. And that's very important to understand. They're not here to take over. They're not here to, uh, you know, tell us what we should do. This is very important. This is about establishing our own authority over our own race, humanity, and then in that way, connecting with other races around us. That's what this is about, about restoring this balance, understanding that we are part of this incredible, uh, well, I wouldn't say brotherhood, but it's, it's so much bigger. This is, we are part of that. We are part of this beautiful, collective brotherhood and sisterhood. And it's time that we gain control over the, our destiny again. And especially in the future, near future, we have the two of pentacles. I have a feeling, especially with these two cards as well, that the dark energy might tr still try to do something with aliens. There is, of course, Project Blue Beam, and that is about, I think, an, an invasion of aliens. They were trying to make it look that way. I'm not sure if they managed to pull that off because they do not have the military behind them and they will probably need that, but they can still use projections and things like that. Or they may seem like they uh, these aliens are here to save us. So they might try something, especially with the Pentacles of Seven, they might try something. Be patient and discernment. Use discernment. Feel if it connects with you or not. They might still try to create fear in that area. But I don't believe we have anything to fear. I believe they, the aliens that the, 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 the main aliens that are helping us, that spiritual beings from other dimension are helping us to regain that balance. They are not here to take over. They might uh, give us advice, but it's important that we step into our own authority and we don't give it away again. So if you do notice if something would come out in that area, you can see the difference between the dark energies and the light energies or the white energies. It's just how you depend on it. The dark energies would want control. They want to take something away from you. And of course, the benevolent energies, they just want to give you your power back and make you make your own decisions. So in that way, that will be a 
perfect way to use discernment. Like, is this, am I have, do I have to give something away or can I add, will they add something to me or to what's going on? Is it more advice or is it about control? That's really the discernment we have to use. Not sure if it's going to happen or not with pentacles too. It's, it's almost like they're still weighing their options, but it's a possibility they might try to use that. So the second card reading I did was more about uh, what are they doing exactly? <laughs> what is going on up, up in the air? Sometimes they close off. So it's like they spread a lot of stripes in the sky and suddenly everything is clouded and you can't really see what's going on. It is necessary to shield off things. So I'm kind of wondering what is going on um, and just what is happening. The cards that I got was first judgment. That's the first card. The central card is the tower. In the past, we have the king of wands. Underneath the central card is the four of cups. And then for the future, we have the knight of pentacles and the two of cups. So that's very interesting. Well, first of all, this is about, this is the central card. And this is the most important card is they are here to make sure all these old systems that don't work anymore. They are based on the dark energies. They've infiltrated all these institutions, all these things that are going on. The medical world, the financial world, they've of course established the banking system. It all has to collapse. All these old patterns, all these old energies have to collapse. And that is what they're doing. So it's very likely if something is closed off in the sky that they might prevent certain dark energies or of entering through portals or trying to get away. They probably are supporting the troops in the dumps with clearing that, helping out because we are dealing with um, beings from the lower fourth energy as well, fourth dimension or density. And most of us are still in 3D, so there's not much we can do about that. So we do need the help of our collective brothers and sisters to help us out with that. So they are helping with that. They are making sure everything collapses. This is about waking up people. So we're going to see more and more. This is about opening up people. This is a card of you see someone very closed off and they cannot see the cup that is handed to them. They have no, they don't see that. They're so closed off. Most of humanity is so closed off from our galactic brothers and sisters. They, uh, don't, we don't want to hear about that. A lot of people don't want to even believe that that is even possible, that there are multiverse, that there are all these races around us. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to think about it. And that's fine. Everyone has to write to decide what they do want to believe and don't want to believe. But this is about just waking up for the possibility. I believe this is about uh, making sure that people are more and more open for these options so they can come out ultimately. I think that that's really what this is about. This is what the other card, you know, reading is about, is about gaining our own authority back so we can step into this galactic world, this galactic federation of brothers and sisters and being open for that. Because that's very beautiful for the cards for the near future. We have the pentacle, the knight of pentacles, and we have the two of cups. I do believe a plan is rolled out. Of course, the dark energies can still try to mix up things, but ultimately the benevolent uh, old worlders, spiritual beings that are helping us, really are trying to uh, not do this impulsively, but really with a plan, waking up people, opening up people for possibilities, so that ultimately we can reunite and we can uh, gain back our places among our galactic brothers and sisters. So this, this is a beautiful card and this is about healing and sharing and sharing technology because there are so many possibilities we haven't heard about. Of course, the dark energies have kept all this technology for themselves, but ultimately it will be shared with everyone. This is about sharing, this is about connecting, this is about understanding that there are all these galactic brothers and sisters and a, a lot of us are star seeds. So in, if we truly listen to our heart, we know that's true. We know that we come from other 
races as well and we're all connected and that's what this is about this is about restoring the balance restoring the sacred feminine uh, principle with the sacred masculine principle so we as humanity can step back into our own authority gain our power our control back and in that way we can share equally you being equals, like I've said, they're not here. Benevolent overworlders, uh, aliens are not here to take over. That's very important to understand. They're not here to take over control. They are here to balance things so we can gain our own control and make our own decisions and share things. That's what this is about sharing. So really what's going on has to do with um, helping out, getting rid of the dark energies and opening people's minds. So I think we're going to see more and more things will come out and probably more and more people are gonna see things happening that they may not be able to explain immediately, but this is really about opening up and waking up. So I'd like to leave it at this and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.